In this introduction video, I'm going to give an overview of toolpaths. Eventually, every design has to be cut out using a machine, whether using a water jet, plasma cutter, laser, or a router, and every machine needs instructions for how to cut out the design. That's where toolpaths come in. I have some geometry in my workspace that I want to cut out. So I'm going to start by selecting the contour. Then I'm going to activate the routing offset tool so I can apply a routing offset toolpath to cut the piece out. I want to cut this out using a quarter inch end mill, which I already have loaded in my cut. And I want to set it to a depth of half an inch, which is the depth of my plate. There are more parameters I can set to fine tune the toolpath, but for now, this is all I need to set. I'm going to click OK to apply the toolpaths. And I can see that now my contour has a routing offset applied. The toolpath will appear automatically offset from the geometry by half of the tool width and with arrows indicating the direction of cut. Notice how the toolpath follows the corners of my contours to create square cuts. If I zoom back out, I can also see that my starting point is displayed at this upper left corner. And if I had entry and exit parameters defined, they would also be shown at this point. There are other toolpaths such as fills and drill points that can be applied to get different results. Another common example would be to create a fill in the middle of this design to create a pocket. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to just create a rectangle here, which I can apply the fill to, then select it and activate the hatch fill strategy. I want to create the hatch fill with a slightly smaller 1 8 inch end mill. So I'm going to click it to add it to my cut list. I want the pocket depth to be 0.2 inches. So I'm going to set the depth and click OK to apply the hatch fill. And you can see now that there's a hatch fill within the routing offset that I created first. With toolpaths applied, I'm ready to generate output files and send this design to the machine. That's a quick introduction to toolpaths. In the next video, we'll dive a little bit deeper into the specific cut parameters for each type of toolpath strategy.